very happy now to be joined on Skype by Steve Jones from the Louisville Courier Journal. And Steve, we just talked with Jaleel Heitch. Very excited about coming to Kentucky. I know a lot of people uh, are looking forward to seeing him play. What can you tell us about that recruitment and him as a player, what people should expect from him? Yeah, he's a guy that was a, a, a main target early on for, for Joker, Joker Phillips staff. I think he got an offer. He was, it was his very first offer was from Kentucky, and it was probably about a year ago, uh, you know, January or February of last year. Uh, and, you know, they stayed on him throughout this whole time. They got him to, to visit for a junior day, like back in maybe February or March of last year. I think he came back in the summer. I remember seeing him at one of the football games this fall. So he's been interested in Kentucky. I think that he just had a hard time you know, uh, really wanting to uh, maybe commit to a place where it didn't look like the coaches were going to be around. Uh, you know, then they ended up hiring uh, what what appears by all accounts to be a, a program, a, a staff that's got a lot of people excited. And I think he jumped on board. I think he liked that, uh, that Mark Stoops has had uh, uh, a lot of experience coaching NFL guys when he was at Miami and Florida State. Uh, he may have mentioned this to you, but he told me he liked, uh, you know, that he had coached Sean Taylor and, and Phil Buchanan and some of these guys, Antron, uh, Roll and some of these guys. And, uh, you know, I think it's just a, it's a good chance for him to, to play in the SEC and to be really close to home, which is what, which is what uh, you know, UK staff has been trying to sell to Cincinnati recruits for, for uh, years now. But uh, he's one of the first ones to really uh, to jump on board, and he's a really highly regarded kid, too. Really fast. He told me I think he ran a 4.38 uh, at a camp at Ohio State this year. Said he may have a chance to to, to run some track at Kentucky if he has a chance to do some of that. Uh, if he if he has a free time to walk on on the track team and, and do some sprints there too. So a uh, really fast guy, and um, you know it should be a, a it's at, at the very least even you know he's a really good player. And beyond that, it's it's a, it's a very good sign for Kentucky that they were able to get a big player. Julio also talked about recruiting other guys to come play with him, one of them being Ryan Timmons from Franklin County. Uh, he was kind of, it seemed like the biggest priority for the staff when they got in state uh, as soon as they took the job. Uh, I know you're tweeting out today some news about his recruitment, some interesting twists, maybe some things going on. What's the latest with Ryan Timmons? Yeah, I talked to his coach, uh, Chris uh, Tracy of Franklin County. Uh, you know, Ryan has basically been, been down to uh, – uh, Kentucky, Illinois, and Ohio State here recently, and Ohio State has not uh, made him an offer. They still haven't at this point, but he has been planning to uh, to take an official visit there, and he finally did. His coach uh, told me today that he has firmed up that he'll that he'll visit Ohio State this weekend and Kentucky next weekend. That's kind of what he had, had you know been planning on doing for several weeks, but uh, he's kind of firmed that up. Uh, Urban Meyer is, uh, I, I, my, by my understanding, is is on the announcing team for the for the BCS title game tonight, and uh, and then he'll meet with his coaches tomorrow, and then they'll kind of gauge whether or not they want to uh, make an offer, and then over the next few days to Ryan Timmons, uh, that would be obviously a really big offer that would be hard for any college or any high school kid to turn down. Uh, even if he were to get one, I think Kentucky still got a great shot because uh, Neil Brown's offense is is really really intriguing to him. It's almost the exact same offense that Franklin County's been running. Um, the other the other sort of new thing with Ryan uh, that, that uh, the Franklin County coach told me today is that uh, is that Florida has, has made a few calls and uh, surprise surprise it was actually Joker Phillips that is uh, that's kind of gotten involved with with Ryan and. Obviously, he had, he had made Ryan a big target when he was at Kentucky, and uh, he had let Will Muschamp know that he's a, he's a great player that's available in Central Kentucky if they, uh, if they need a slot receiver type player. So no offer yet from Florida, no offer yet from Ohio State, but those are a couple of great options if, uh, if it goes further with him. Uh, and then obviously Kentucky is very strong with Ryan too. I, uh, I think it could, be, it could be something that could go on for several more weeks with him, maybe all the way up until signing day. Now, Ben Bradley is a defensive tackle, a junior college defensive tackle, who said that he was going to announce between Kentucky and Auburn on his Twitter account this morning. Didn't happen. Now there's a report that says his junior college coach uh, believes that he will announce later in the week. As of now, in taping this, there's no decision. Not sure when the decision will come. But do you read anything? Can fans read into him delaying the decision, not announcing this morning? Is that favorable for Kentucky? Or what are their chances of getting him to, to sign on to play football next season? Well, you know, it's hard to know whether or not uh, a delay or anything like that will, will make a big impact. But uh, I think that, you know, just the general sort of speculation was that he would probably pick Auburn uh, 
this morning, and, and he, he hasn't as of mid-afternoon on Monday. So uh, if that's how you want to read into it, that's probably good for UK. I, I mean, from, my, uh, from what I've been able to gather, he has not made a decision or he's not informed any, any coaches that he's committed anywhere. So I think he is still weighing through the process. And, uh, you know, I think that's got to be good for Kentucky. I mean, they have, they have some things to sell. Uh, they could, he, he could theoretically come in and start uh, on an SEC team next year. You know, I guess Auburn probably has a similar thing to sell too, but uh, you know, probably is just a, an exciting opportunity for him at UK, and I'm sure they they were you know rolled out the red carpet for him this weekend. So, um, you know, I think it's it's probably good news for Kentucky that it's, that it seems to be uh, uh, carrying on a little bit past this morning, but uh, but I, I I'm not sure what what he is going to pick, and uh, I was uh, kind of refreshing Twitter all day just like everybody else. <laughs> Uh, next week is a big week for visitors for the Cats, of course. Uh, the name that kind of stands out to, to a lot of fans is Ashanti Woolard. He's the top dual threat quarterback in the nation by some services. MVP of the Elite 11. Uh, former USF commit looking to come visit. Uh, talk to us a little bit about him and how would he fit into that Neil Brown offense? Well, I think people, the perception is traditionally you want a guy that can, can really fire the ball. Yeah, I, I think that uh, he's just he's just a talented guy that was probably too uh, too good to pass up when he realized that he's available and, and Kentucky began to pursue him, uh, especially since they had a connection with uh, his teammate uh, Blake McLean is committed to UK. Um, yeah, I think Kentucky is is pretty good in their for their future with their quarterbacks with with Smith and Tolls and uh, Jalen Whitlow and and Reese Phillips just uh, just enrolled this. This week, I think he was starting uh, school this week. Uh, uh, the commitment for 2013. So, uh, I don't think that he's a make or break kind of guy as far as like because I think that they they're in good shape without him. But he's a really talented player. Um, the interviews he gave at the Army game this week were suggesting he just really uh, likes Kentucky a whole lot by the chance he gets to throw so much. I mean, he is able to run, but he's a uh, he's a guy that that wants to throw and likes to throw. So. Uh, I think that if you're a quarterback and, and Kentucky makes you an offer and you know you have a good chance to throw 35 or 40 times a game, if you play for Neil Brown, then then probably a lot of players are going to give that a look at this at this stage, uh, especially uh, you know over the next few weeks, you know just kind of on the idea of, of sort of the excitement that program that, that Kentucky's got going right now. All right, Steve Jones from Louisville Courier Journal. Thank you very much for joining us. Always a pleasure talking with you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.